So okay, we will continue from where we left off yesterday. So we did till eighth question. Now we will start off with this uh, ninth question. It is clearly visible to everyone, right? Yes. Okay. So multiple select question. So is the question uh, clear with everyone what it is trying to do? Yeah, we have to find out the paragraphs, right? Yeah. Count of paragraphs, okay. So, no, it won't be big. Count how many paragraphs there are in that uh, file book.txt, and uh, yeah, uh, so paragraph always ends with a full stop, it means sentences, uh, means yeah, like for simplification only, like you can just uh, uh, like consider the paragraph is ending at as full stop, so that is the thing, yeah. So, uh, can anyone explain me all these options that each of them are trying to do? Then I'll tell the answer. So, what if the line in a paragraph ends with full stop? Uh, no, no. It, it like basically just uh, consider that every full every line that ends with a full stop is a paragraph. So that is the simplification that we have, this question has done. Uh, count the number of present in the assume that a paragraph always ends with a full stop. Okay. Even if it is in between, it doesn't matter. Uh, So can anyone explain their options that they have selected? Okay, so I chose uh, C and D. Yeah. So for C option, uh, we are grabbing the lines which have something and then it is ending with a dot. So we are escaping the dot with a backslash. And before that, we have the dot and the star character. So that means it can have anything, but it is ending with a dot. And then we are counting the number of lines for that. For the last uh, option, uh, we are just checking which all lines are ending with a dot. So that's why I selected it. Yes. Why I think the first option would be incorrect no, is, um, uh, because we're searching for the full stop in the starting of the line rather than in the ending of the line. So that's why it should be incorrect. And uh, OK, if uh, you did say we can consider uh, the full stop coming in between a line. You just have to consider that uh, the uh, the paragraph always ends with a full stop. You don't have to consider whatever it is in whatever there is in between. 
okay so yeah i'll stick with my answer cmt all right so basically your explanation of the first why first is wrong is wrong your answers are correct cnd are correct uh, the explanation is uh, like that only because it, it, we are getting everything that is before that uh, full stop we are escaping the full stop because dot means to match anything uh, a single character anything so we have to escape that first and then uh, before that we are getting everything so uh, basically c and d you can uh, use them interchangeably because it will get everything and second will just check for full stops so if it ends with a full stop then it will uh, just uh, uh, go to the next counter match it so your why you your explanation of why this for a is wrong is because uh, okay, i understood it because we are not escaping the full stop yeah You're just just as uh, it will it will check for it if it is starts with a character so basically what it will do it will uh, check with lines with uh, starts with a single character at least with a single character okay so the only lines which will not be selected by this option would uh would empty. be empty lines or which empty lines, lines or the lines which do not have anything at the start hmm. okay similarly with the yb is incorrect is because it is checking for just a single character yeah only so it will just match anything no constraints so now is it clear with everyone no sir yeah so, um here uh, in the c option full stop uh, then we are escaping the another full stop yeah yeah uh, why is that see the first full stop is like uh, like what uh, the first it's not a, like the literal full stop it mean that it it will match it's a special character in regular expression right it will match anything any single character of anything one or more characters yeah no no it's just single full stop means just one and the star after that means that yeah. it will have uh, like zero or more occurrence of that so uh, the dot star what it will do it will match everything before the literal full stop we have escaped that full stop why we escape to match the literal full stop in our text so whatever is we are just comparing with the uh, full stop it should be yeah. end with full stop right? yeah just so for that we are just escaping it yeah so and similarly the we just do not we are not matching everything in the last option yeah it's just matching the full stop yeah para here paragraph means only one line no it basically uh, anything is a paragraph it is if it ends with a full stop in this question assume that a paragraph always ends with a full stop so you just you just mean that even if it has multiple full stops in between it doesn't matter Yeah. Okay. So, can move on to the next one. This is the uh, uh, like the data for that. I'll show you the question after this. Just read through it. Okay. Okay. And this is and this is the I'll just show the question now. So, which side script will uh, like convert uh, it? Will remove the uh, dashes from that. This is a multiple select uh, question, so there are multiple correct answers.
So can anyone explain me all the questions, all the options? Hello. Uh, yes, we shall. Uh, so the first option. Uh, so basically, what it does is it's a substitute command from side. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one occurrence of a digit with followed by a hyphen with three occurrence of another digit. Yeah. Uh, followed by another three occurrence and then four occurrence and then we just uh, replace them with their callback functions. No. Back referencing. Yeah, back referencing. So these are two occurrence. The two options are two occurrences on the phone numbers. So, so, uh, I think the A is a Madhuri, can you explain yours? Okay, you, you go on. I wish I, if you have anything else to say. Uh, the second option from A are uh, the same thing. Three occurrences of a single number is separated by a slash and then four occurrences. Uh, just back reference it again. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, the C option, we just give a digit so in the extended regular expression. Yeah. Uh, the same thing has been given. So instead of 0 to 9, we will give digits. That's all. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now I just say and see. So yeah. Uh, what what you have to say, Madhu? Anyone else have to say? For the first option, I think uh, for the second part of it, when we are back referencing it, we are doing two and one. When I think it should have been one and two. Yes. Because it will just interchange it. Interchange it yeah. Yeah. So that should be incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Be I think incorrect because uh, we are changing uh, every hyphen, we are removing every hyphen, and it is also present in the emails. Uh, for C option, uh, C. Yes, I think C is, uh, C is like the uh, correct, yeah. C, uh, C is the correct answer here. Yeah. But I have a uh, yeah. potency as uh, I don't get it how. So we are not escaping the second back reference. Uh, so what what I didn't understand the second back uh, reference. What do you mean? In the in the last line, yeah. When we are doing uh back referencing it, one and two, one is being escaped, but two is not being escaped. Or is that a typo? So okay, yeah, yeah, that is a typo only. Okay, yeah. So. And also D, uh, will D work? Is that a correct option? I don't think it should work because we are only going through a line once and it will change uh, one occurrence of the hyphen. Uh, because we have the G option. Yeah. It will change every occurrence of the hyphen option. As in. Yeah. So D is correct option d is correct uh, answer but like your explanation is wrong. see what it will check for yeah 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 we shall do you have any explanation for that? Uh, sir won't uh, d like uh, this just digit no sir like uh, one occurrence will you yeah. how will it match with any line see uh, what this whole thing it will match with a digit a minus sign and uh, again a digit so what it will just basically do rather than matching with the whole phone number which in the c option we did we just match three characters a digit a minus sign and again a digit so basically we are uh, operating on just three digits we are just uh, like uh, after and creating two groups of them and just back referencing in to remove that minus sign okay see uh, suppose we have this one two three one two three one two three and uh, uh, we what this uh, this uh, what the C is targeting the, it will target the whole uh, like the uh, matching what we are doing. But the, what the, the D will target is just three minus one in all the things. And since we are uh, doing it globally, we have this G at the end. It will match through uh, many occurrences of this. Uh, see, we have my three minus one twice here. So it will match twice because we are doing it globally. Yes, sorry, I understand. But if you run the D option, it's not running. It says it's wrong. 
It's wrong how? We get some error. Uh, like uh, what error are you getting? Okay. No, 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 it's working. Okay. But uh, I think. I'm sorry. I'm trying to run it in the terminal. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Yeah. Basically, it will just target three characters. I'll move on to the next question. Yeah, see, this is the value of P from the database itself. It's like one of the appropriate value. So here, the, um, uh, the, the value for P, which, which you can see is uh, only P, is reading the uh, Can you show the previous question, please, once? Uh, yeah. This one? Yeah. Options. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for who's reading Q for the first time? See, no one's reading Thank you, sir. Yeah. Move on to the next one. Yeah. Then we say who's reading S for the first time. Reading S for the first time is the right key one. So we say key one here. So now we go for the uh, read write part. These are all the so options. So for the read write part, whoever is submitting the. Uh, what was the question again? Uh, wait. You're given a CSV file which will, uh, with the content as this uh, content file.csv, and you have to just select the op command which will produce the output which will be shown in the next slide. Okay. Yeah. This is the expected output that you're going to get, and uh, this is the content of the file. OFS is the output field separator. Whatever, uh, yeah, R ORS is output record separator, or, or, like whatever uh, the record separator we want for a record, and uh, IFS and uh, like uh, record separator and uh, like uh, input record file separator and input field separator is like it's not used, but it's the same for input. The first option now, the file, the okay. So now that's important. This particular. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Why is the new line character given? In case it will be printing every line, right? Uh, in which option are you referring to? In all the options. Right? Okay, new new line is for like just the uh, like the new line that uh, literal new line. It will just convert into new line because then by default it won't go to new line. Uh, sir, can you explain OFS once more, sir? Uh, see, we have like uh, different fields in our uh, op script, right? We, whichever record we are processing, we have different fields in it. So we have this field separator that we are referring to when we input the file. Suppose we, we have a CSV file, so we'll define the input field separator as comma. And suppose you want to change that comma input as in, uh, like you want to change the uh, comma separated value files to a tab separated value file. So what you will do, you will just uh, put it as the input field separator as comma and the output field separator will be defined as a tab. So you can just, uh, you can uh, modify how the output will uh, be returned to you in, in standard output. So basically, we are just uh, substituting the text. field separators. Yeah, no, just, we are just adding the field separator. By default, the space will be the field separator, but we want it to uh, like have uh, colons as well in it. So we want to have the output field, whichever field is there, we have to put uh, the field separator should be a colon. So we have defined OFS there. So how will it uh, properly identify the commas? So it will properly identify the commas and only replace. Them. Yeah, replacing them. The input field separate FS is comma, and the output field separator is uh, uh, like the colon. So what this will do, it will just uh, basically replace the comma with uh, the colon. Yes, sir. And output record separator, record is the entire line that we are referring to. So uh, whatever, we can define the, uh, the field separator to records as well. So if you want to uh, like uh, convert it, so you want an extra line. See, these are like two, uh, there's an empty line in between. Right? There is, sir. 
there is an empty line in between. First, there is ex unexpected output. There's the first line, then an empty line, then again the second line. So we have to uh, like um, take care of that as well. So we have to include printing uh, an empty line oh, also. Yes, yes. So A will not be correct answer right here. Uh, we will be double, the proper answer. Uh, I'm sorry. So, uh, Since, uh, we will need an extra line, right? Or two, yeah. two extra line after this. Uh, basically, what print does, simple print command will al always have a trailing new line with it. So A is a correct answer because with default by default, print will have a trailing new line and we are like, uh, uh, like intentionally adding a new line character. So it will get two lines at it. Okay, so uh, just uh, write uh, in if in the option A there was no slash n, uh, then it would be like next line only, no empty uh, then, line. Then it will be like the content file only, only with the columns, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Yes. And so, uh, also with slash n, we need to give in the double quotes. Yeah, because we are interpreting it literally. With dollar one is the awk variable, so we do not use uh, like the uh, like for them to interpret. We do not use uh, double quotes. We use double quotes to print literal strings in print command. Okay, okay. so slash and we have to use it literal. Okay. So th there are multiple options, correct? So A is one correct answer. What about uh, other three? It's in B and D. B and D. How how are these correct? Uh, I don't think B is correct. D might be right. Yeah. yeah. Can you explain how B is correct? D or B, sir? B, B, B for ball. Yeah, we are taking the comma as a separator. Yeah. And the column as the output in separator. Yeah. And among the character as the output record separator. So, uh, yeah. so uh, that explains it. So we are printing the uh, uh, second and the third argument with colon as the field separator. So there will be colon in between output field separator. And uh, the, uh, the line at the end of the line, there will be uh, a new line character added. So that's yeah. the uh, each line is a record, right? But like by default, if you are defining ORS to a single new line, then like the uh, see by default, the single the output record separator will always be a new line. And we are explicitly just uh, uh, like telling the op to uh, set that as well. If, if we write this ORS equals to new line or not, it makes no difference. Okay. So it won't append an extra new line after that. So B option will print an extra new line. Yeah, it's C no no C option will be the correct because it will have that new line that is the default behavior and then again add a new line. What? Sorry. I don't See. Know. Uh, by default, the behavior for that is to uh, the new line is the default rec uh, record separator. So it by input as well as the output. That's why in the first one it worked and we just added a new extra line. But now in the second one, we are explicitly defining uh, the new line as our field separator, which, which obviously is. So it is making no difference to the script. Okay. So we for uh, it will just interpret as it is. Just the uh, content file will replace with columns, not an extra line in between. So there is one more command, RS for input record separator. Yeah, 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 record separator, yes. Oh, uh, so here we are just uh, signing slash and slash into the slash and yeah. In the second, then the second option, B option, it is uh, just doing literally actually nothing. We are just by default, it is new line character only. And we are replacing it again with new line. Yeah, so it makes uh, no difference to the script. That's why this is wrong because we have to print two, two, two new lines. First, print it, then get to the new line, and then again get to the new line, and then print the next thing. So only uh, B option is incorrect, rest are uh, correct, right? Yeah, yeah. Sir, how is uh, D correct, sir? 
D. See, we are just uh, giving by like uh, literally just whatever we did it in A, we are just doing it in uh, D itself. Just we have just defined OFS, the output field separator, and printing it with an extra new line at the end. So here the default uh, field separator is? Uh, default field separator in awk is always base. But uh, in the content file, we have to. Uh, we have to so set commas, no, sir, not comma, spaces. Yeah. yeah, so if we have already did that with the awk command, awk minus f comma. So that will take care of that because we are uh, calling awk with a as a as a command, not in a script. In a script, you define that. Oh, so awk minus f comma that part takes care of takes care character. of that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Is this question clear with everyone? All right, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, the final answer is A, C, and D. Uh, yeah. B, the B is the only one that is incorrect. Is the question clear with everyone? Can you please explain the question first? So you are given a, a regular expression that is by default in an extended one. So uh, this below one, uh, below the hint, this is the question which is given expression. Yeah, yeah, that is the one. Okay. At the at the last line. So you just uh, uh, need to like. And this just test your way how the grouping works. How do you understand the grouping? It even shows you the hint how it works. Yeah, and later, can you explain the grouping actually? So, uh, can, uh, can you tell me how many groups we have made here? Uh, here you have two, three, and four. Uh, no, no. Uh, what are all the groups that we have made in this regular expression? Here you have. Uh, one character. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, three occurrences of a single character. Okay. No, no, no. The, the groups, how many groups we have made? That it means. There are three groups, sir. Four groups. There are actually four groups. One is this whole group that is checking at the start, at the end. It is inside that parentheses, right? Is the, uh, can, you, can you explain this? Like how to understand means what are the groups? Group C. The, uh, can you just read through the hint? The group number starts from the outer to the inner and left to right respectively. So a word, a phrase or sequence that read the same words backward, that is the just that uh, uh, for that palindrome. But the group number is starts from outer to inner and then left to right. So at the start, this will be our first group, the first parentheses that enclose everything. OK, that is first group. First group. Then the second group is our single character. OK, just we have just a single character in between. Uh, dot means it will match every character, right? any character, any single character. So we have that in a group. That would be our second group. That, and we have this or that uh, pipe for a logical or between regular expressions. Yeah. All right. And then we have this uh, again, a single character group that is back referencing as three. So why this is back referencing as three? Because uh, like 
the first group is what we had in the whole thing. The whole thing was our first group, right? Am I making sense right now? Yes. So the whole thing is packaged in first group. The first group is our the whole uh, regular expression, starting with that uh, like uh, carrot symbol and ending with that uh, dollar symbol. So that is our first group in that. So after that second group, which comes from left to right, and uh, by uh, will be that single character. So it will match any single character that there is. So the first option will be correct. This regex will be match one character palindrome. So one character in itself is a palindrome. So it will match for the first character because there is just one uh, character in it. So now, now we are uh, setting it as a logical or either the first one or the second one. Is the logical or part clear with everyone? Yes. No, sir. Okay. Can so, you explain it from like grouping part. You can ex can you explain uh, again? Yeah. Sir, I got lost after the numbering of the groups. Yes. No. Okay. Okay. So the first group is what we have the whole thing, the whole thing in the parentheses, uh, right? See the it, it the, in the hint it shows the group number starts from outer to the inner. Suppose we have group uh, we have this outer uh, parent parentheses make groups, right? that we makes group uh, regular expression groups with parentheses so uh, the first group we will have the outer one then we will have whatever it is inside and whatever it is inside will be the preference the order of uh, like the uh, group number will be start from left to right is it clear this much yes sir uh, that is clear sir okay so then what what we have see after this we uh, check for the first one the first group we make another group of a single character so uh, the group number two yeah no, huh, the group number two yeah the group number two uh, can like can you tell me what are all the group numbers the first group is the whole group group number two will be the second the, the single first, dot one single dot yes the third group is the, the single dot dot slash three three so and we have this pipe to set as a, as a logical or between regular expression this is a characteristic of extended regular expression engine only you won't be able to do logical or between regular expression in bre okay so we are uh, doing uh, that's why it is uh, given in the note that it is it is using ere in uh, as an engine so the first uh, uh, like the first regular expression we have is just a dot all right the second we have either it will match that or it will match what it will match it will match two characters can you tell me how it will match two characters in the second one so uh, basically the same character is back referenced by the three so yeah uh, the three will, characters. yeah why is why does it have the th three number because uh, from left to right the second or is the third uh, group third group yes correct Okay, so then it will do a, again a logical or between regular expressions that the first, uh, it will group the first, uh, again, the starting character and then uh, any random character in between and then back reference it again. Sir, so in the fourth group, any one occurrence of a random character, no, sir? Yeah, any one character, uh, one occurrence only. Dot means yes, just one occurrence of any character. Yeah. So it basically, if a word is like D A D, it'll be referenced. Yeah. By, I mean, it'll be matched by the fourth group. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, right. I'm not allowed to share this, but I will. Is it like uh, anyone having a doubt in this? So hat character. Uh, what is hat character doing? It means that the thing starts with that. It should yeah, have that only that. Yeah only that uh, either one one character or two character or three character uh, if it has more than that one, then it will match it one character here uh, shows the first here the bracket uh, the first, in bracket right yeah second group that's why you won't find why are we say, uh, saying the second group second group is because the first group see in the head the group number starts from outer because there is an outer group that is already happening so that will get the first preference. 
so that will have the uh, like the previous number the first first group is whatever it is inside that caret and dollar so that will be our uh, first thing then we have the second uh, group that we have as as a single character the second third and fourth i am getting these but uh, first group i'm still not getting which one the, is the first group see the first group is enclosed in this uh, right and uh, the uh, from a caret symbol to the dollar symbol we have ho the whole thing inside a group so this is the first group this is our first group then we go inside that group and check for other groups then that's why that is our first group and we go inside and from left to right if it will uh, iterate through then the, the the second group will be the single character the third group will be the second regular expression in the or part the third group will be the uh, the, the fourth group will be that uh, uh, group dot and dot and uh, back referencing slash and uh, what is the difference between second and third group uh second what is the difference i don't understand uh, what are they trying to say like this uh, single dot means we are uh, we are referencing to one character right? one character yeah and, uh, and we are back referencing it using uh, that that forward slash three. We are back referencing it and checking if uh, see whatever what will, what will be matched a a b b. So two only two characters will be matched that are same. The first group will have the dot will have will store the value. That dot uh, in uh, parentheses will store the value of that first character and then refer it again with that uh, uh, that forward slash 3 is it is it clear um, what so is though. the significance of this forward slash 3 this is the only question i have now. okay what it means it will refer it it will see it will make a group dot a single character group that is the third group of, that is, we have as our third group and we are referring it again as a basically forward slash three is uh, again a character that is same as our uh, whatever group it is referring. So can you explain it with example? Yeah, I'll I'll just share a screen. Just a minute. Okay. Is my screen visible? Yes. So we have this file uh, which have this uh, that exactly that palindrome thing. So uh, what uh, we have this content site H E H. If I will just append few more things. Yeah. Uh, suppose we have this uh, random string. Then again a palindrome which is not of three characters. And again a random string then again a single parent row prp so i'll just cat it again so this is our uh character the file contents all right it has this uh two uh three uh, three characters palindrome single character is itself a palindrome and a double character palindromes and it has like four character palindromes as well which ideally should not be matched our with our uh, thing so what we'll do we'll just do grab uh e grab we are using the extended version right so uh what it will uh, first we are checking that it it uh, should only start and end with this is our first group all right we are creating a group that we can uh, like uh, we can reference it later we are what we are not referencing it anywhere so this basically what it is means uh, in dot star it will match it will match everything hello oh like did you get it this much yeah, yeah. So we are uh, first. We have this our. This is our first group that in which we have uh, a single character thing. 
all right if i were to do that then it will match only the uh, lines which are starting and ending with a single character okay all right the first part will be where well, it will match the palindrome that has a single character or so we are doing the uh, or we want to match it as uh, second two characters as well that's why we are doing uh, piping it and we are doing it uh, the back uh, like uh, the second regular expression to match so we are uh, getting a single character again and what the back referencing will do it will get the second uh, it's a third uh, it's our third uh, group right yes so it will match either a single character or two characters what this is is whatever there is matched in this part whatever match in this part is in this back reference 3 so we are matching uh, a single character here and the value of that single character will be interpreted as backslash 3 that is what we call as back referencing so back uh, backslash 3 will uh, refer to two characters yeah basically this whole uh, this backslash 3 three is just a single character whatever backslash 3 is whatever if that is in this group that it is referring to if i were to do sing dot star then it will have everything and so, then yeah backslash 3 will refer to the same single character i mean two yeah. occurrences of the same single character yeah no no backslash 3 in itself is everything that is in the group that it is referring to see the third group is it, this you can think of it as a variable so whatever is there in this bracket is now kind of being stored uh, you can call whatever there is in the bracket you can call that by uh, backslash 3 anywhere yeah back black backslash is a uh, group number but i'm not getting why are we doing this like what yeah. see if i were to uh, do this suppose if i were want to get uh, two characters if i were to do this um starting and ending with two characters only so i what will i do i will just do two dots right so uh, i'll just to pass the file so it will match the two dots okay but it necessarily uh, wait i'll just edit the file to it does not have all the test cases suppose i have a uh, i have a it's a a b uh, r e these are not palindromes right no sir so but then these will also be matched so how do we store the value of the first that we have and then refer it again whatever we match as our regular expression in our first group and then refer it again at the second that's why we use the back referencing basically like hemadri said it's uh, it is creating a uh, what uh, a, a, a variable sort of which you can uh, refer it again so in this group we have uh, we have this it i'll show you this this uh, this is what we did right to match everything suppose if we want to but we want to match the whatever the first value value of that first character is again so uh, we uh, we can refer it again so we can create these uh, uh, groups suppose if we want to create a group of uh, three characters suppose we have a file a uh, will file to file to i uh, uh, suppose i have this uh, thing as a br b b r b r b okay so uh, i want to match that thing i want to match if it has b r b in it b r b so it will match this two lines all right but we want to match the b r only the line that has b r b and b r b repeated in it so we what what i will do i will just uh, uh, check i will just create a group of brb by using parentheses we can create groups all right and then we can just back reference it why that see this is the only group that we are currently using right so what will be the back referencing number of what will be the group number of this one so we are just backslash one so this will only match the line that has the basically what this will have the uh, whatever the literal value of it 
the pattern. So we have to write the question. Is it clear? And yes, sir. In this, is, uh, what is the first group referencing to? Uh, in this question? Yeah. Like, uh, okay, wait, I'll show you, share the question again. So, yeah, what was your question again? What is the first group referencing to? It is like it is, it is not referencing to anything. We are not using it, we are just grouping it, but we are not using it anywhere in our thing. Basically, if you group it, you can group it. But if they basically, what how we use parentheses in uh, like normal mathematics, we can use parentheses to group things, right? Uh, to uh, as a like multiplication thing, but we can use it to group for our simplification. But we it's not necessary to always group. But if we here we we can group it, but we are not referencing it. You can uh, you can group it, but you have to refer if you want to reference, you can reference it with it. Yeah, uh, my question is uh, the first group. What uh, if you want to reference it to something? What will be that uh, referencing part? Like, what would it match to? Uh, like, it will match. Uh, it will match either the one character that that this whole regular expression match, okay, okay. or the two character palindrome, or the three character palindrome. Okay, so the dot slash four is the is for the single character like B R B. So for the R. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah. uh, how will the first group match, sir? Because there are starting and ending we given that See, so basically the starting and ending, what it means it will get only the lines that has a single character in it, or it will get only the lines that has two characters in it, or it will only get the lines which have three characters in it. Okay, so basically if we uh, try back referencing it, it will uh, give us all the lines that start with no, no. Back referencing is just the whatever the variable that we have stored in parentheses. Uh, uh, that is the only thing that is the part of back referencing. Whatever you store, your where it's it is creating a sort of variable that uh, that has an index of one, two, three, n up to n, and it will have a, a precedence. So uh, in this, uh, yeah, you can go on with your question again. Uh, sir, so basically the these back referencing values they keep changing with every line that goes through them right yeah they will change and, uh, but the for, uh, yeah uh, so, so please continue yeah, yeah. yeah. but, but uh, like the it will have store the actual value not the character see dot will means any character hai na? but if you want to uh, refer it to again that uh, literal value of that character suppose you want to use b as a character so you want that value as a b so you uh, refer it you create a, a group and you refer it so when you refer it when you refer the group then it is like b b a a c c otherwise if you do just simple two dots it will match every anything so it's basically like a mirror whatever happens in the first occurrence that when you call it, it the same character will uh, occur over there yeah but it will keep on changing it because yeah. the dot is not because dot is literally anything right so it will keep on changing so, so this change will happen can happen multiple times in a single line no sir yeah like whenever like, there is a match yeah where, whenever there is a match see if if it has a in that line then it will match a a if it has b in it then it will match b b in my example, I do that BRB thing, right? So I did not uh, do that dot three dots. I did BRB, literal BRB. So it will have, uh, it will not match anything other than BRB. But here we have the single dot, which means any character. Yes. Sir. So the so it will, BRB will be matched with fourth group, right? Uh, B, uh, BRB will be the fourth group. Uh, anyone have else? Anyone else have questions? So the like the answers. What will be the answers for this question? Then? A B. A B. A B C. And C. Yeah. Yeah. All right.
So can we move on to the next one? This is the 13th question. We will just read through it. Uh, Shall I move on to the questions? Okay. And then he may not be safe. He does not have a good one. Okay. So if I have a better one. Sir, uh, there is PLM and T has not been uh, because, uh, declared. No, sir. Uh, we are declaring, see, before the sleep line, we are declaring it. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, the stat minus C. I'll tell you. Uh, I didn't have the space to uh, in the in the question paper. You you were given the stat command man page, but basically, stat uh, minus C. What it what it? I'll just share you the man page for now. Just just a minute. Kavya, it was A, B, and C. Uh, it will match a single character palindrome, a double character palindrome, or a three character palindrome. So this will say and A. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. If we write variables in double quotes, does it still interpret as a variable? So like in the uh, second line of the first line of the while loop, uh, we are giving the dollar one in, inside quotes. Yeah, like that is the best practice to use shell variables, to put it in uh, double quotes so that if it has like a multi-line, if it has space separated, then it won't be uh, disconnected. It will be stored in a single string. So to interpret bash variables, you have to put double quotes. That is like the best practice. Your dollar one is the first argument, sir. Yeah. Uh, Sir, is there any input given in the previous slide? Uh, wait, I'll show you how it was executed again. So this is how uh, it was executed, uh, that sh, and the main pi was yeah. the dollar one argument. The, uh, the string here access the argument now, sir. Uh, I'm sorry? Main dot, main dot by uh, the string, it, it goes in as a string now, sir. No, no, it, no. It like it goes as a string, but it will be interpreted as a file list. Only. The LMT, uh, this dollar one will return main dot py in that place. Ha ha ha. Yes.
sir. So uh, this Python three and dollar two, that part is wrong, sir. Ah uh, yes, because there was there are no arguments given. Yeah, no second one, argument. It will execute uh, main dot three from Python interpreter. Uh, main dot five. Uh, if it was dollar one. Yeah. This command will execute main dot five from the Python three interpreter. Yes. Can you show the execution lines? Mm, yes. So option B E no sir. Ha, that is correct, but this is a multiple select question, so there are other uh, in inconsistencies as well. Why would A be incorrect, Himadri? Yes. Uh, shouldn't we write bash in the front of it, in the starting of it? As far as I remember, we write. Uh, in front of what? Uh, when we were executing the file so bash uh, yeah we can we source. can uh, do that execution as well but we can do uh, do the execution with dot slash as well so basically the, that option is saying is to the end we have selected wrong interpreter that uh, uh, slash uh, exclamation mark and then we are defining the interpreter in which the script file will be in interpreted, right? So the uh, you are saying that the interpreter is wrong in this file. But, but like the interpreter we are using is bash only. So that uh, option is wrong. And the answer should only be E. Sir, or D is also incorrect, sir. D. There should be brackets. Uh, how, like brackets, how? Assigning to element will return the variable value, sir. Yeah. And uh, without, oh, sorry, so in we have to perform some kind of commands inside. We use the bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only then. Yes, but sir. this is a variable. So it doesn't matter. So yes, yeah, so uh, I'll go on with it. Uh, the um, we are uh, like we are actually the assignment of uh, LMT is wrong. Uh, this, when you see that uh, stats minus C uh, like. Doll, uh, like uh, percentage w what it will uh, what it will uh, gives out is i shared it in the chat that it will uh, it gives out the time of birth uh, like after it will give the time of birth uh, in seconds how much time it was uh, how much time it has been since it was created and not updated so the if statement that it is uh, like uh, uh, so the lmt uh, assignment is wrong so we, we can't are compared to uh, the value that LMT has. Aha. Uh -huh. Because that is wrong. The LMT variable is wrong. We are uh, like uh, assigning uh, the wrong stat command value to the LMT. Because Can the, you show the previous slide? Yeah, I'll show it again. Every time it does change. But also, uh, is it, uh, can you show us one example of uh, the stat command in this same format, sir? Yeah, yeah, just a minute. <laughs> So can you just uh, rephrase the question again? Like, what is main dot py has to do here? Uh, basically, uh, I'll just first share the question. Basically, the uh, there is a script ex.sh, 
and that uh, uh, that every time that main dot py is changed it will execute that script that is it that is the main work of that script so uh, we are creating that script and we have to check for bugs in it so here uh, what are what are all the bugs that we can find so uh, how do we get the last time stamp then it uh, how it would be how it was changed so that person is using stat command for that so i will just show you the output of that stat command wait Uh, we are doing stat man stat. So what was it? We are uh, using minus c to uh, print a specified format of the statistics that we want, and uh, so uh, to whatever we want is in this uh, this part the valid format sequences. So we want uh, uh, this capital W, the time of birth since uh, the last epoch. So that is what that person is doing. So uh, stat minus C, and what it was doing, it was getting uh, this uh, percentage W of suppose I want that file one to be that one thing. So it has been this much uh, like uh, time that it has been made from the last, uh, uh, it has been this much time since it was made. So that the uh, thing that uh, the person has used this uh, the stat command is used wrong here am i making sense right now sir how is it wrong sir see it will show the time of the birth when the file was created not last accessed or not last modified we have to uh, the person who made the script should have used these instead of w you should they should have used uh, the time of the last modification and then change it and we, what the uh, percentage w does is to time for the file birth when it was created since then So, so basically, in that question, we are just comparing the time of birth with uh, itself. Yeah. So it doesn't even make sense. Yes, so so uh, is it clear, everyone, why this uh, stat command is wrong, wrongly executed there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll share the screen again then. So what does option C do here? Option C is to just uh, format it printing. That's it. However, for uh, whatever format we want the output to be. Okay. And, uh, and uh, this uh, percentage W is what we are printing as the format of that. So is the stat command clear? Why is this wrong? Because that is the main part that you have to read through the main page that is given in your exam. I didn't include it in here because like it was useless. I could have shared it. So is the understanding of that uh, why command is wrong? It's correct. Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, so the uh, like the uh, assignment of that LMT variable is incorrect, right? So the correct uh, the if condition is also incorrect in the same way. So the correct answers are B, C, and E. Is this clear? Yes, sir. B is incorrect so, yeah. because C is incorrect. Yeah. Okay. So why are we assigning LMT to PLMT? Uh, like to maintain that uh, uh, whatever the timestamp that we have used so that we can use it later so, when it has been changed. So if statement makes no sense because both the variables have same value. Yeah. We are moving on to the next one.
Sir, which question are we doing here? Uh, I need to Today, uh, like, uh, I will just do one more question. I have also, I also go to dinner. So, just one more question, then we'll be done with the PYQ of previous term. Okay, sir. Yeah. So the third option is right. Okay. So has everyone understood the question? C will be right. We only okay. need four, four, five, six, and 10, 11, 12, 15 lines. Other we don't have to print, right? Uh, yeah. So this is a multiple selection. Will so A the, be is, right, sir? Um, yeah, A and C yeah. are the correct options, but okay. yeah. All right. Can you explain it then? How did you get yeah. into that? In the A option, we have deleted the rest lines, uh, those lines which we don't want. And in the C option, we have uh, used N option, so it will show only the 4 to 6 and 10 to 15 lines. Yeah. Correct. Uh, D will print them twice, no, sir? Oh my God. I'm sorry? D option, uh, it will yeah. print lines 4 to 6 and 10 to 15 twice. Yeah, yeah, because like we have not suppressed its output with minus n, it will just print it everything, the whole file. <laughs> Same with uh, B also. Uh, yeah, we have to suppress the uh, with minus n the default behavior of set. We have to suppress it. B and D this... options will give the same output. Uh, this E, the significance of E in this. We are just if you want to uh, like do multiple matching in set, we just use minus e. If you are doing just a single matching, you can do it with single e. If you are doing in a single command multiple matches, you you do minus e and provide that with that context. So instead of semicolon, we use c over here. Uh, instead of semicolon, we use uh, minus e. Ha! Huh, like it's it's a different pattern space. It's a different. Yes. But basically, it is the same. Yes, sir. So can you move on to the next one? So B and D options uh, had the same output, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for this question you if you want to try out in your terminal you can and see how this whole thing works what does tr do it's to uh, basically it will uh, take the space and replace it with a new line character Two spaces to be specific. No, not no single space. It is. It will. Uh, see, tr command will only work for single characters. If you want to change single characters, you use tr command. So here, here double, uh, two times they have given the inverted commas. 
Our first one is to define a single space, and the second one is to replacing part that is the, our new line. There are two arguments given to the TR command. One is the space, and the second is the new line. It's used for replacing any part of the text, right? Yeah. Without any, like, there are options that you can squeeze the outputs and do many things. But here, it, what it is doing, it is to changing the, it is matching the, all the instances of space and replacing it with a new line. So the output of it will be the, I mean, all the lines it matches. Like uh, uh, for this question, I encourage you to if you can uh, code it along in your system, then yes, it would be great. Yeah. Yes, Sir, can you explain uh, what the TR command actually does? But I'll, uh, as everyone noted the question, then I can throw up my terminal and then I can show you all. Just a second. Yeah. Is there any spaces in between? Uh, I'm sorry, please. So, is there any space in between the, the out, in the output of the command? Uh, wait, I'll show. I'll show you. Wait, in my system, I'll show you. Is my screen visible? Yes. Yeah. So what we are basically doing, we are just doing what was the question again? Um, A, B, C, 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 E, F. A, B, C, 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 F. So first let us see the output of this. It will basically create two uh, uh, two uh, characters words in the in all the all the different combinations. Is this clear? Yes. The brace expansion part. And now we uh, what we are doing? We are just uh, using tr command to first match the space. See, the output of this command is with spaces, right? So we are first uh, telling, I'll just show you the man tr. So tr, what will it will just translate or delete the characters. That is the basic thing that it will do. So by default, it will uh, just replace it. If you are not providing any, uh, like, uh, um, what it is, option to it, then by default, it will just replace it. So what it will replace? It we are replacing spaces with new line characters. All right, and let us see the output. We got it. Is this clear till now? Yes. And what was the next thing that it required us to do? It uh, there may there might be see there are A C A C C C. C, E, C, C, again, there are different, uh, uh, like, uh, like repetition, and that are now not in not consistent. So we can just sort it using the simple sort function, we can just sort the output. Now we are just sorted alphabetically. All right. Is this clear till now? Then we we were to we were finding uh, all the unique things that there are all the unique entries. It is repeated twice. This was repeated uh, four times. So we are just doing the unique to get all the unique entries. 
All right, we got all the unique entries. Is this clear till now? Hello? Yes. Yes, yeah. it's clear. Okay. So now then we are using the awk script. For what we are doing awk for? We are um, we are appending the n to our uh, number of record. We are creating a variable n and it will it will store the value of nr the number of record that it uh, it is currently working on all right and at the end in the end block we are just printing it print n print n yeah So see what it is, basically what it is without this awk. What are we getting with this unique? We can count the number of lines, right? Uh, is there... Adding the line 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 9. Yeah, exactly. So we have 9 lines and it is just incrementing the number of records. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 9. That's why it's 45. All right, is I this clear? Uh, mm. So uh, you got it till now, right? Uh, yeah. Till this uh, unique one. Unique one. So uh, what is the output of this unique is all the unique uh, things that came after uh, the echo and in separate lines. See how many lines there are. We have nine lines, right? So we are just uh, doing the awk script for uh, we are just making a variable n and incrementing the counter with the number of rec the number of the record that it is currently working on. You understand nr, right? Yes. So we are just printing at the end. We are just printing n. So uh, since like see there are uh, lines, uh, what this nr has, nr will have the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 9. All right. And that literal value will be 1, 2, 3 will be stored in n. So it will have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till 9. So it is 45 at the end. So this is clear, right? Right. I'll just share this again. Already we have done till here, and uh, we'll move on to the December term uh, PYQ tomorrow, and I'll try to complete it by tomorrow itself. So it could be a little big uh, session. So please to attend that. So that, so that will have a different uh, peer deck, sir. Uh, it it will have the same peer deck. I have already I already have the question set up here. So, so a continuation of the questions in this yeah, peer deck are yeah. December's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till now it was uh, uh, the January term. From the next question, it would be the December term. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you have uploaded yesterday's session. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, it will be uploaded in a time. Just uh, uh, it uh, just a minute. Just, uh... Uh, just I have one request. Like uh, earlier session, you uploaded now, so uh, it's very uh, the quality is not like we cannot uh, see the screen properly. Can you upload it in a, in like HD at least one zero eight zero p? One zero zero. Um. However, if whatever you can uh, do it, because it's very difficult to. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, I don't know. I didn't know, know about it. So I'll see because I, I guess the default is 720p, right? Yeah, even the quiz, uh, we did not practice session for quizzes. Yeah, so yeah. I was attending the session that time I didn't, but when I checked the lectures, it was just you cannot see anything in the 
in the terminal it's not okay. really like that. okay okay i'll i'll see for the tomorrow session because i guess here we in the recording we don't have any option to increase the quality i guess that I is uh, that is i think it it won't be bad the recording will not but i think while uploading it if i think youtube default it yeah. takes the lowest one i guess okay okay I, i'll ask them to like upload it at the maximum if yeah. it is possible yeah yeah thank you for pointing it out thank you so just uh, let me share the uh, one thing i have this feedback form um if you could fill it and send it yeah. okay yeah these are for the general ta sessions and uh, uh, whatever we had till uh, till now for this term and the whole experience with your, with this course we have to Uh, till when we have to submit this form? Yeah, it's just your feedback form. That is it. So yeah, you can we just fill it at your leisure. Okay. Okay. Uh, Usta, uh, I'll take your doubt tomorrow. Like any specific doubt you have, because like it's already up time. So I have to go for dinner as well. Uh, sir, when is the session tomorrow?